having said that, though, if you are outside of the intelligence community, if you are the ordinary person and you start seeing a bunch of headlines saying, yeah, U.S., Big Brother, looking down on you, collecting telephone records, etc., well, understandably, people would be concerned. I would be, too, if I wasn't uh, inside the government. Hey, what up, everybody? King JB, you know, your host. King JB, Uncensored, once again. And uh, we've got a lot of stuff that's been going on, as you can see with this last video. Um, I'm going to touch on this. And here's the thing. When it comes to Barack Obama, I want everybody to leave race out of your mind for one reason. If I mean, for one second. Whether you're black, white, no matter what the fuck you is, I want you to leave race out. I want you to really think about what's happening in our country today. People are going, have went to jail for having lemonade stands. Do you understand what that means? Our children can no longer sell lemonade. Um, every right that we have is starting to be plucked piece by piece by piece by piece. There's people in jail for collecting rainwater. There's people in jail for selling lemonade. There is people in jail for the slightest little thing that we can no longer do that we used to be able to do. And I know a lot of you people are saying, well, it's progressive. You know, laws got to be made. How many fucking more laws do we have to make? How many, for, how many more freedoms do we have to give up? Now, with Barack Obama right here, he says it himself, I'd be concerned too. Of course you would. Because you've probably seen the movie 1984. You know that one of the biggest fears we can have, that we have, based on the evidence that's presented to us, is that our government is filled with liars, killers, people that stage false flags to get us to put our money into stupid wars. Um, it happens all the time. And then any one of the political parties that try to fight against that, such as John F. Kennedy, you kill. The Big Brother surveillance, and this is not Big Brother as in black man. This is, if you're not aware, Google the term Big Brother. Um, the Big Brother surveil for surveillance is something we've all worried about for a long time. And see, here's what I don't get about the liberals. You guys say, well, if you're not doing anything wrong, why do you care? Okay, when I'm taking a shit, I'm not doing nothing wrong either. But I still want my privacy. Do you see what I'm saying? I still want my privacy when I believe I should have my privacy. What I do in my home is none of your fucking business. Who I call on the phone, what I type on my computer is none of your fucking business. And if that means that we have to surveil and intrude and, and completely violate the Constitution and all of us Americans' rights just to feel safer... Then fuck it, let's deal with terrorism with these, man. Let's quit this bullshit. Are we really stopping terrorism with all this shit anyway? Doesn't look to me. Doesn't look like it to me. Obama made a promise that he would abolish the Patriot Act when he got into office. I voted for this scum. He hasn't done so. We've been tricked and to giving away our rights. This is not Obama, just Obama's fault. This is a new world order. This is a global elite. Obama's just a puppet man. But at the same time, for some reason, Obama's being used to fool a lot of y'all. Obama even throws out little hints shit like that. You know, if it was me, I'd be concerned too. So if that's the case, then why is he putting people like me on terrorist watch lists for being patriots? Do you see what I'm saying? For being constitution lovers. They're calling anyone that challenges or asks questions of the government crazy conspiracy theorists that are America's Al-Qaeda, as they put it. That's fucking insane. Do you understand now that because there's people like me and myself that say, hey, I want this constitution followed. They are now saying that we're terrorists? Do you know how disgusting that is? 
All you gotta do is Google this shit, man, if y'all think I'm lying. In fact, I'll make another video showing you the evidence my <coughs> if I have to. My hatred for Barack Obama has nothing to do with race, and that's the problem, is all his supporters immediately say that. You don't like Obama because he's black. What the fuck is you talking about? I don't like Obama because of his policies. I don't like Obama because he's the front man for the New World Order. I don't like Obama because of the different... Um, um, shit, the different um, things that he's signing, executive orders that he's signing to get, leave us all fucked. I'm about to be making a video real soon on a new executive order that he made that wants the schools to treat black children differently. And if I was black, I'd be pissed off about that. Because he's saying that black students, black kids, can't act the same as white kids. That's what he's saying. I'm going to show that, you that in another video. But as of right now, if you watch this, he's, you know, this press conference that he had, he flat out says, hey, if I was y'all motherfuckers, I'd be scared too. That's just a little fucking arrogant. I mean, for him to be that arrogant, but yet at the same time say that the NSA is not scaring, staring, uh, spying on us, it's just fucking stupid. He knows the NSA is spying on us. It's out in the open. We all know this shit now. And what Obama wants to do is he wants to try to turn this back around. He doesn't give a shit. He ain't getting voted back in. He's already, I mean, it's over. If he gets another presidency, it'll be because he took one. It'll be because he signed it into an a executive order where he gets a third term. There is no, there won't be no vote. He don't have to worry about the, our votes anymore. He doesn't. And that's why all the tyranny and all the bullshit, all the Hitlerism that you're seeing today didn't happen quite like this in his first um, four years. He had to get that second four years voted in. Now the tyranny, now the bullshit is starting to hit the fan. I'm just saying, you know, I mean, if you look at this shit, these people are trying to make conspiracy theorists, and I don't even, I hate that fucking word. They're trying to make us look insane and crazy. Ain't nobody crazy. We're just seeing shit for what they are. We're asking questions. And for that, we're being constantly attacked. And then we get the president come on there and arrogantly say, if I was y'all motherfuckers, I'd be uh, concerned too. Doesn't anybody see this shit? Doesn't this bother anyone? It's a damn shame, man. That you people out there think it's okay that all of our privacies and all of our freedoms are taken away. And y'all always have the same fucking answer. Well, if you're not doing nothing wrong, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't care. That's not true. Do you want people watching you take a shit? No. And you're not doing anything wrong. I'm King JB. This is King JB Uncensored. Follow me at officialkingjb.com, or at Twitter, whatever the fuck. I'm out of here. One. Whoa.